computational skills and leadership quality. She was involved in SQL Server, database upgrade at instant, and database level for different versions of SQL Servers around seven years of 2000. She also experienced in administering of databases on MS SQL Server 2K till 2019. She possesses knowledge of conceptual, logical, and physical data modeling using tools like Kia Studio, MS Visio, and Power Designer. She has extensive experience in working with complex stored procedures as well as analyzing and debugging existing complex stored procedures for applications. She also worked with popular third party monitoring and backup solutions like Tivoli, IBM, and Allied Speed. She has experience in working with production and development environment. She has very good knowledge on Microsoft Azure SQL database migration from one prem to cloud, Oracle, and AWS. She has managed database team of size 10, comprising of DBAs and developers. She had mentored the team and, sh and shared the gained knowledge to the team to provide 100% availability of all these services. She has excellent interpersonal, analytical, and communication skills. She worked as database consultant in MasterCard Incorporate with St. Louis and technology specialist in ANZ IT Bangalore in 2013 and worked as SQL Server DBA in Emphasis Limited Bangalore in 2006. In Shoba Resonance Information Technology, she worked as Team Lead and Associate Senior of VBA. She worked as Administrator and a Software Developer in Headlight.com San Francisco, California in USA in October 2000. In Hopkins of Service Limited, she worked as Analyst Programmer. We celebrate your leadership and you keep on influencing and inspiring us. We welcome you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Nagapuja. To be inspired is great, but to be an inspiration is an honor. From the way, and happy to request our respected chief guest, Madam Meena Shankaram, to deliver a valuable speech. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Kalyani, Akshaya, and Nagapuja. I think Raghavi. Um, hope. Uh, I think they have covered most of my experience and I'm happy to be part of this uh, uh, program and uh, I'm happy to present about database management system. Um, so as you said, I have more of experience only with the database. My uh, entire career was in uh, database management system. So I'm happy to talk about it. Um, I have worked on various, not only in SQL servers, not, uh, SQL server, I worked in Oracle, uh, PostgreSQL, and uh, MySQL. So there are many flavors in uh, database. Um, and it's a very, very interesting to work. Every day you will have knowledge to learn. You will get knowledge to learn and debug the skills. It's not like programming and you keep on developing. Uh, it's like you will have you will see challenges in working in the database management. So that's a one good thing uh, that you, you will work in, you will see while working in the database management. Um, so uh, since you are all going to be first year student and uh, you, are, you have taken the computer science, um, take good knowledge, like whatever your teachers talking about the database management and uh, cloud skills, uh, and anything with the basics in database management, try to put all your knowledge there. That would definitely help. Uh, that would be my initial um, uh, like thought about the database before we get into. So you will try to learn and put more effort while, while we're discussing about that. So uh, how do you want to go? You want to, uh, I, I, am, I know Tamil perfectly. So if you want to bilingual, I can do it. And uh, if you want only in English, I can do it. Uh, what's your preference? So you can message. You can message in the chat session. What's your preference? Then we can start from here. All right. So we'll start uh, with a with a presentation. Hope you can see it. Uh, please message if you are able to see it. Okay, thank you.
All right. So we'll start uh, with the database management. Um, so what is data? Everyone is data. Like whatever you do in this world has become a data. So here we will see what is the purpose of database systems and uh, uh, how do you view the data and uh, what are all the things to view the data like data models and uh, data definition language, data manipulation la language and how the transaction happens and where the uh, data will be stored and being an administrator, what are the administration you would do and what is a, especially the uh, security like database users and when you use a, when you use any online application um, how this security and how the users will be like uh, uh, designed and overall the system uh, structure of the database and to start with the database management system what is data if you move anything from here to there that's going to be the data in the future. So if you are, uh, you might have noticed that there is a, uh, if you are looking for something in internet, for example, Google, and you will get the same information in uh, or recommendation in Google or uh, Facebook or Insta. So what is it? It's a data. If you are searching for a phone, that information will spread across. So that's the data. All those collection of details is nothing but a, a data. And where that will be stored in the in the database. So that's what we are going to see how we are going to manage the, those bit of data and how that will be stored using the set of programs. And uh, uh, in the DBMS, it contains only about a particular database. It cannot store like a, uh, for example, if you have, if you, you are studying in a college and if you, they will store uh, details about all the teachers, students, and what are all the courses the college has. It's about a college. Enterprise is nothing but a uh, particular, so um, uh, what you call um, enterprise or company or whatever the organization or any kind of like HR, employee, customer. If you take banking, they will store all the data about the banking details. And uh, this, what is the advantage of using database management is that uh, it is more convenient and very, very efficient to use. Where these database applications can be used in all transactions, if you see, uh, if you go to bank, everything, they have become online. You can book tickets in airlines, universities. You can see all your grades, the registration, everything online. You don't have to, there won't be any paperwork. Everything can be done online. You can see your results, and uh, you are uh, every now nowadays. You know you are all online classes, and where those details will be stored in the database. And uh, the if you take sales uh, about the customer and the products purchase, everything will be stored in the database. Also, manufacturing human resources. If if a college, there will be the teachers will be the employees. So those re records like how what's their salary, uh, how they are paying, and uh, what's their level, everything will be stored. So database is nothing but all touches in our life. Whatever we do, that becomes data. We are data actually. Uh, any uh, doubts or anything here? Can we Excuse go to me. next slide? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Your screen is not visible, ma'am. Let me present it again. Can you see it now? Yes, ma'am. It's visible. Okay. Um, 
if you have any questions please uh, uh was it out because i am unable to see the chat session if i move out then i'm losing that presentation screen share actually uh, not showing if i move the screen all right now what is the purpose of database system uh in the early days when i started my career i think uh, when we started the time computer science was uh, uh introduced in my college and we used to work in basics uh, uh, fortran and cobol um and it was very difficult to get one program to run like it's a, if you take cobol it's like lots of procedure will be there and uh, saving the data and we used to have lots of uh, big big servers to store the data and it was too expensive and uh, everything was in file system so that was uh, very very difficult to manage then we moved to uh, so we we need to find out like what are all the drawbacks in using the file system to store the data so there is always a data data redundancy and inconsistency uh, it has like a uh, multiple formats and uh, duplicates of information and different different fi files in the uh, system uh, very difficult to access the data if you write if you need to write a program um, to carry out a task and it's a very difficult to access the data and uh, multiple files and formats integrity problem like a uh, integrity constraint if, if we need to change something we need to change everything in the uh, many uh, files uh, that were that will be very difficult to manage and uh, they very difficult to add if any rule to be added in the system so that that those are all the challenges we had with the file system um so if you see that for the database system very important thing is like a uh, asset properties it's a uh, you can note it down wherever you go this will be asked what is the asset uh, property so if you do select update insert and uh, uh, delete so those all the updates for anything any application request we done at the database level so um, if we have file system and if two persons are accessing the same uh, file and there will be a conflict always so there will be a like in, there will be a chance that particular database will get into a inconsistent state like um, some people will update it uh, for example i am in trichy and you are in madurai um, and uh, if two people are uh, updating the same records and if it doesn't uh, if it's in the different file location two people will do different update so that is that used to happen when we used to have the file system and there were no mechanism to track it uh, for example if you transfer fund from one account to another it will either complete or it it will never happen at all because of the file system everything was manual uh, so that never happen at all as i mentioned that if we have multiple users um so it's very difficult to manage and uh, performance was literally bad uh, and uh, there were like more security problems so this is where comes into picture the database system offer a great system solution for all above problems now we are going to talk about how data will be stored there are like a physical level logical level and view level so a uh, physical level what it shows it describes how a record is stored uh, it's in the high level view like uh, if you say customer uh, about their name and uh, uh, address everything the basic information of a customer and related to that record if the, if the customer is having a account what's their account id what's their account name so high level view will be stored in that physical level uh, it will show how we can apply the uh, how that date application will be designed as a, i have been working in the database administration or database uh, person for so long and how we do is that first when we start the application we just sit and discuss how we want to design the data that's the heart of any solution that we design how the so we will first achieve the physical level 
then we get into logical level so it will describe logical level describes the how the data stored in the database and what is the relationship among them um, so logical level customer that is a table and uh, what are all the objects it will have entities will have name street and city so we'll have all those information in that how that name will be stored is it an integer or string so those all the details will be stored in that logical level in the view level so uh, in the application programs that doesn't low, show that uh, what is the data types or something it will just show the data nothing much and this view is also can uh, hidden uh, so for example you are looking at the your professor's details it doesn't show what's their salary and what's their address nothing so this course this uh, teacher merlin is taking and uh, what's the uh, like what's their qualification and everything but it doesn't so show salary that's the security purpose so that is how the view level is designed how they design with the security we'll talk more about in the uh, later session um so any questions till this level please raise okay so now how do you view the data view of data like um, um first we design um first we design data in the physical level then move into logical level like how um the data will be stored in what, which format that will be stored then uh, how this will be viewed uh, using the select queries or everything um uh, select update or uh, insert so those all the things we use the view level we 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 show that how the record is being viewed that is how we view the data from the physical level to logical level then to the view level and uh, to design all the physical and logical level there are some tools uh, urban power designer those all the tools are used and uh, these all the version control one and uh, that's being used uh, to use uh, view the data we have uh, sql server we have sql management studio and uh, postgresql we have pg admin and uh, sql plus using that we can still view the data okay now i uh, will come to instances and schemas it's a very high level we are talking about uh, database management and uh, uh, it's a different different uh, in a different different application uh, if you see a uh, schema is a logical structure of the database how uh, in the i think i will show that later in how the schemas are designed in uh, uh, sql server it's nothing but a table uh, it's a schema uh, so example the database consists of information about a set of customers and accounts and the relationship between them that will be stored in the schema like in the in a particular database we will create those schemas for example if i have a database called uh, human resources uh, that will have table like a uh, Uh, employee employee and uh, where they are working department so those all the details will be listed under schema um, so uh, what is a physical schema schema is like a physical schema and logical schema let uh, pre in previous slide we have seen that what is a uh, physical design and logical design it's the same here so physical schema is nothing but a database design at a physical level logical schema is a database design at the logical level and instance the actual content of the database uh, instance is the higher level under that schema will be there so this is in sql server i am talking about this is totally different in oracle and other database systems when you learn the basics just remember that instance and schemas and uh, when you more learn more about other other applications like uh, sql database applications like oracle and sql server or other applications it totally different as per their architecture uh, coming to physical data independence so it it is actually to modify it has the ability to modify the physical schema without changing the logical schema for example if you have physical schema if you have like a um, um, uh, 
HR database and that you have employees and under that employee ID, employee name, everything. So you don't have to change the physical schema, but logically you can, uh, sorry, logically you don't have to change, but you can still insert the records. And uh, application always depend on the logical schema. Uh, like when you try to fetch a record, for example, you are in the Amazon site and you are looking for a phone uh, and you do, you want to see what all the phones available, like a iPhone or a Samsung phone, everything. So uh, you will just check a smartphone, you will get everything. So it depends on the application, it depends like what data is stored and it will retrieve everything. So in general, the interface between the various levels of levels and components should be well defined so that the changes in some part do not seriously influence others uh, like uh, uh, have different type of uh, different information and we will update those tables and everything but it doesn't affect other schemas tables in in terms schemas in terms of tables it doesn't affect anything so if you start working in SQL Server uh, uh, instance and schemas, uh, better write it down like uh, most important to understand in the database what it differs from application to application. So when you are studying, make sure that you understand the basics of it completely. Uh, now we were talking about like uh, uh, design, how that will be achieved using the data models. Uh, so it's a collection of tools of describing how the data are stored. Uh, first is uh, data and how the data relationship, for example, customer and account, and uh, data constraints, how that will be stored as a data types. Um, how that will be like uh, uh, shown in that entity relationship model. What is an entity? What is an input? And how, with the relationship, how this is designed and uh, relational models. And we have other models like object-oriented model, semi-structured data models, and older models like models. Uh, these are the basic things that how the data modeling can be done for the uh, for a database, for an instance. Uh, this is the entity relationship model. Uh, the, this is uh, a uh, very simple entity relationship model using ER diagram. Uh, we have a customer table which has a customer ID, what is a city. And uh, here if you see there is an account table, account, account number and balance. And in between we have the um, sitter. So he is a customer uh, deposit some amount in the account. So this is the relationship. Customer, how they will achieve this relationship? We'll see this in the next slide. Okay, so here entities. What does the what is the entity here? Customer account and bank branch. In the account and what is a branch? What is the relation between the entities? So first we need to understand how the data will be designed um, uh, to retrieve the records. Without relationship, we cannot. Uh, retrieve the record. When we design the table itself, we'll see what are all the master uh, tables and what is the uh, child tables. And the main, uh, we saw it in the drawbacks, right? In the file system, we cannot avoid any uh, data redundancy and consistency wasn't there. So here, using the entity relationship model, we will achieve that what is a um, uh, data constancy is a more prominent in entity relationship. There are something, uh, it's, a, it's a very early to talk about the normalization. We have a first normalization, second normalization, third normalization. Please note this point and read when you have a chance. That is, that is most important uh, to read about normalization. So read about it where this normalization comes into picture when we design the entity relationship model. So here we are talking about customers, account, and bank branch. Relationship between entities is like account held by a customer. So relationship set depositor associate with customers with the account. So you saw that there is a depositor, customer, and account. That is the key thing here, relationship between this. Uh, so widely used for database design, 
this er model is sin er model is usually converted to design into relational model comes so they will come up with a basic thing what is it uh, how this relationship work and everything and they will put it in the uh, tabla model and the same thing will be stored in the storage find uh, that will be processed to get all the details for example you bank site okay and we'll see uh, what's your name address and how much uh, amount you have in your account where are they getting all the information so using the relationship model they will get all the customer details your name will be based on your uh, credential they will get all the names and what's your um, um, uh, balance that will also be showed based on the table they will retrieve it from there so those all the relationship will be designed at the um, first thing when they design the system that will be everything will be written in the entity relationship model, physical and logical design so this is the tabular relational model this is how it will be stored in the database uh, this is the customer id and the name and the street customer city and the, this is the account number this is how it will be stored and customer city they will have like number and uh, they, there may be a different uh, table like a city and they will be stored and using the constraints they will update this customer city with the required details so this is a relational model how this will work with the customer and the account details so these all the attributes that we have this is the customer city and the account number uh the uh, sample relational database how it looks like uh this is a tabular model id customer name customer street city here if you see account number and balance and how this uh, deposited table this customer id this is the account number uh, so when we design a uh, customer id customer name street city so this table will customer table will have all customer details account details and this is the transaction details like customer id and the account number okay so we ha we have seen like how the data is uh, designed and uh, how the data is going to be um uh, how the how they design like logically and physically how they design and how the data is stored um we need to know how this uh, will be created when you are when you are going to learn about uh, database definitely you are going to get a project um to show some application uh at the database level uh, creating a er diagram or something at the uh, since you uh, so here we need to see how to create that tables and everything da this is called data definition language when you talk about uh, when you read management uh, you need to understand what is ddl and what is dm we will see it later dml data manipulation language how do we manipulate the data um here data definition language is most important whatever we design that will be created in the database uh, that will be created in the database schema uh, or the database uh, this is a create table for the account table account account number and uh, account is a table account number and uh, how this will be stored character and balance its digit that is how we create the tables and um, how this uh, ddl this compiler this will generate set of tables and uh, that will be stored in the, and uh, what is data dictionary data dictionary is meant it's called contains metadata data about the data like how that will be uh, base data how does it look that's called metadata and uh, what is a schema database schema and uh, that's the, what is a data storage and the definition of the language so uh, in language in which uh, storage the structure and access method systems that are specified it, it differs from um, solution to solution so uh, they use based on the compatibility of the particular application uh, and uh, 
it usually uses an uh, data definition language uh, probably you may not understand when you attend this session and you are going to take database management it will there will be a definitely a recap you will uh, revisit this presentation for sure once you start reading uh, like how the what is data definition how do you define that uh, uh, table that is how it actually the compiler generates so i will show you little uh, one demonstration in sql server like how you can create the tables and everything a data manipulation uh, language so data manipulation is nothing but you are select update and uh, uh, insert and uh, delete this is nothing but accessing the data and manipulate like uh, insert update or anything and organized by the appropriate data model so this is also not uh, called as query language structured query language and uh, so one is uh, procedural language and uh, non procedural um, so in procedural language what they do is that user specifies what data is required and how to get those data and uh, non procedural they don't they randomly uh, get this data without specifying like how to get those and very mainly used uh, most widely used is the structured query language which is sql example of uh, sql and procedural language and uh, example if you are if you want to select a customer uh, with the customer name from customer table and this is a customer id that is how we will find the customer with the customer id of this one and if you want to find the balances of all accounts held by the customer with the customer id uh, you can see that um, select they are selecting it from the depositor and account table and uh, this is the customer id and this is the account number how they retrieve that record using the sql and uh, application so uh, we have something called the visual studio in microsoft using that they will uh, and uh, uh, using that they will fetch the record that application will program interface have odbc and jdbc connectivity uh, uh, usually you, if we need to retrieve records from other application uh, we need to have the connector uh, jdbc that's also a keyword so using this um, uh, tool they we can extract data from various resources now we cannot say that uh, we, i will get only data from this source uh, now we have all the open system and no sql everything is there so how do we rec uh, retrieve the record using odbc jdbc and there are many interface to get the sql queries this is all the call connector uh, from the application you can use this one connect to the different uh, source for example if i am using oracle if i have to get the uh, data from sql server i will use the jdbc connection and extract the data and import it into my so this all used and you can note it down and uh, whenever you you get this information try to read more on this uh, application program interface okay now we'll come to a database uses so database uses is very very critical for any database security security is most uh, important um so there are like application programmers uh, they interact through dml and uh, sophisticated users like uh, high level users um, so they form request into a database and like what we saw select insert update Uh, so those all the sophisticated users it's called and uh, based on their uh, credibility they will get the access to the database that will also be designed and specialized use, users like um, system admin so uh, so they write specialized database application and they don't fit into that uh, application but they will have extra privilege so so those will be designed in such a way in the database uh, to restrict access and uh, application programmers will have more access and sophisticated users will have like um, uh, to D, to dml that queries and uh, insert so they will have different level of access when you work with uh, when you design the system you will understand how the security plays in the picture but you need to give more importance to the security level um, so read more about the security level when you work on the dbms like any any dbms if you take 
just read more on the architecture side and how that security is implemented uh, these two are the very critical thing if you work if you consider any database and uh, nave users it's nothing but like uh, if you are browsing something in the web and uh, you, you you may not be part of that particular application but still you want to browse you you'll be there. so you they know like to be given this. so invoke one of the permanent application programs that have been written previously and uh, you can see what is required for you to see uh, so those all the database users list you have and uh, based on that your uh, role in that application you will get the access uh, that has to be designed in the security part of any database system. Uh, that's a very critical part of any database system. So when you re make sure that security plays into very important role and read thoroughly uh, when you read about that uh, architecture. Okay, transaction management. Transaction management is nothing but a uh, of operation. Um, uh, for example, uh, you want to see the phone. Um, uh, so you are actually uh, uh, seeing or selecting one one phone in the Amazon portal and uh, you are updating that, right? So um, this is one transaction. I'm just giving an example. So it's a set of operation that performs a single logical function on the database application. Anything, even if there is a select, if you want to select who is the employee of that uh, particular depart department, who is a head professor of the employee, uh, that particular department, that is a transaction. So component um, remains inconsistent, okay? Uh, for example, I have a server uh, in uh, Trichy. You have a branch server in uh, Madurai. Assume that you have another uh, branch uh, uh, college of your college in Madurai. Now, you want to have all the professors to travel to Madurai College and take session once a week or twice a week. So they have scheduled such a way that, okay, uh, whoever is there, teacher one has to take Monday class here and teacher one has to take class in Madurai. And all the transactions are uh, updated there. And if you, everyone has to see this data in very consistent manner, even someone who's sitting here uh, has to see the data properly and uh, whoever actually sitting in Madurai also has to see that data. So we have two servers. Now Trichy server is down and you cannot see any data. What happens is there is something called in the database like high availability. So whatever the data you are updating it, the same data will be stored in the um, uh, Madurai server. So immediately they will bring that server up and um, Madurai server up and you that and everyone can see the data. So if there are any crash in the any environment, you should have decision should be up. So that is how this uh, component uh, the transaction management ensures that there is no loss of data. So you might have seen that WhatsApp or uh, Amazon is down. One server, you, you might have seen that Azure is down for so many hours. Immediately, they will bring it up in the other node. So those all the transaction management, we should be efficient when we read about um, a database there. And uh, something called concurrency control manager. So this, this actually controls the interaction among the concurrent transactions. Uh, this is a keyword. Uh, when, you, when you read about database, uh, this is the basic. Um, so check what is concurrent transaction architecture in that particular application and make sure that uh, the, uh, the application is designed such a way. So this is, this is to ensure that consistency of the database. So transaction management is very critical. And storage, very, very hard thing for database. When you design, I'm currently working in the 30 TB of the database. So I have to design storage manager in a program that provides an interface between the data wherever it is stored and to the database and the application. There will be three layer, right? One is data where it's being stored and that will be stored in the database and in the application program. We, we will see quick slide on that. 
uh, how the architecture two tier and three tier architecture works so the moment you ask in the uh, website the information that will capture and show it within second do you like when the data comes very slow like within more than one or two minutes you may not like so we need to come out with the best storage management in the database there are there is something called extreme io nimble storage um so the more data storage management co come into the picture the storage manager is responsible for the following task so interaction with the file manager and efficiently it has to store uh, the data and whenever you need to you need to retrieve the data so it it has to be more efficient when you talk about when you read about database management system for particular application make sure that what is a storage architecture make a note of it okay coming to database administration so you uh, as as i i think uh, they already told told that uh, i'm into database administration so these all the activities we perform uh, what is a schema definition physical uh, organization modification that has to be stored and uh, the security granting user authority to access the database and uh, specifying the integrity constraints uh, we need to work with the users and monitoring the performance so these are all the database administration task if anyone wants to work in the database so these all the things as administrator you need to do it system uh, structure probably i will uh, share this with you there is a data page this is a storage manager and query processor and this is the application like uh, users web users this is the application program they can write and sophisticated users this is the database administration so this is the overall system architecture this is how it looks so based on that you can uh, design your own application uh this is the application architecture so these two are very important nowadays um if you see that uh, two tier act architecture application and database system and uh, if you take uh, three tier ar architecture there will be a application server database system and uh, application client and user is in the different box uh, for example uh, two tier architecture the client programs will use odbc jdbc connector to communicate with the database in the three tier ar architecture is nothing but a web based application these all the keywords make a note and uh, uh, thor read thoroughly like what is three tier architecture and two tier so what is a middleware and how that will be built and how that will be connected to the database so these all the applications